Hey girls, Kaylee here. So I'm going to be doing two videos on side swept hairstyles for prom. These are some side ponytails that will look great from the front in pictures and they're easy and quick to do so they're going to be great for your homecoming look. You and your friends can get together and look at these and maybe do each other's hair and I think it would be tons and tons of fun. So here's our first hairstyle and it's a little bit Taylor Swift inspired. She's done something like this before. What you're going to do first is take a little section from behind the ear on the side that has less hair and braid it over. If your hair is a little shorter than Anna's, which is understandable because her hair is ridiculously long, you can take a matching section on the other side as well and braid that. Once you braid it all the way down, go ahead and secure it with a clip or a pin or a hairband of some kind. And then again, if you need to on the other side, get a matching section and braid it all the way. And then you're going to join the two at the top together. Just optional in case your hair is a little bit shorter, that's what you're going to do. Now once you've got that done, you're going to go ahead and do a little bit of teasing or a bit of teasing on the back and go ahead and do however much you want but this is just to add a nice little bump and you can see her hair teases ridiculously easily and then just go ahead and smooth it down so you don't see any of that teasing from the top because that's not a good look then we're going to go ahead and put those braids over so if you need to connect the two at the top go ahead and do that or if you want to go ahead and just pull the one over do that and then if your hair is a little longer in the front pull it over to the side with that braid and pin it in place if you have bangs or side bangs go ahead and leave those down then take the remaining hair and split it in two and take a little tiny section and we're gonna do a small infinity braid basically to do that you're gonna go between the two sections and create a little infinity sign so we're gonna go under the front one and then under the back one and then you just continue doing that for however long you want that little braid to be for me it was about two or three inches I do have another tutorial using this, I'll go ahead and link it at the end of the video so you can check that out if you need a little bit more detail on the infinity braid. Then just stick a pin up the middle back of the braid and you can go ahead and spray it with some anti frizz spray. This is Smooth and Seal by Sexy Hair and it just makes Anna's hair sparkle. I love how it looks on her hair. So that is that first hairstyle. Another additional thing that you could do if you wanted to would be to add a hairband instead of the braid if you think the braid's a little bit too tricky or you just don't like that look. Now here's our next hairstyle. This one is also a little bit Taylor Swift inspired. You're going to go ahead and separate the hair in front of the ear on the side that has the most hair. Now Anna had her dress on this side so we actually ended up pulling her hair into the ponytail on the other side of the head. But you can do it on whichever side you want. So go ahead and pull your hair into that low ponytail and secure it with the hairband. And yeah, she's eating a frosty in these clips because my mom brought that home for her while we were working on this. And then you're going to go ahead and if you have side bangs or bangs just leave them down. And then if you have hair like Anna's, you can go ahead and sweep it over to the side in a way that you feel is flattering. And then you can either pin it in place right behind your ear if your hair is a little shorter. Or if your hair is really, really long like Anna, you can go ahead and take it onto the other side and wrap it around the base of the ponytail. If your hair isn't long enough to reach over to wrap around the base of the ponytail, just go ahead and take a piece of hair from the ponytail and wrap it up like that. Stick a pin up the middle of it, and I actually stuck another one in there to really hold it. And then you're going to go ahead and curl that entire ponytail. I used a 3 quarter inch curling iron because it makes those nice tight little ringlet curls. And then you're going to pin them up to cool as you go. That makes sure that you have a nice strong curl that will last all day. And actually this kind of looks like a pretty updo as you see it kind of forming. So you could actually turn that into an updo if you wanted to. It's like a little free tutorial in the middle of this tutorial. Tutorial section? Yeah, anyway. So you're going to go ahead and just curl all that. And once you've got that all up, you're just going to let that sit and cool until it's completely cooled and then you can go ahead and take it down. If you want to spray some hairspray on that while they're in there, that would be good as well because that will make sure that it holds really nicely throughout the night. But now you can see that they're coming down and we've got these nice tight little ringlets. Now you can choose to leave the ringlets like I did or you can run your fingers through them and break up the curls and make it just a little bit more kind of lived in looking. Um, just depending on your taste. I kind of liked the really PC curls on Anna. And if you want to, you can always add a headband. I think headbands kind of bring a hairstyle together and really nicely go with the dress. So, I don't know. Just, just a thought. Um, here's some other tutorials to check out. I have my playlist with all my homecoming um, appropriate tutorials. And then the, and the infinity braid and another side swept updo. That was a mouthful. Anyway, I hope you guys like this. Check back tomorrow for part two of the side swept hairstyles. I'll see you then.